Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the successful medical checkups he had undergone. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the Saudi monarch with abundant health and happiness to continue the march to development and prosperity for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under his wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Russian President Vladimir Putin on Russia's Victory Day. His Majesty the King wished him abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to the Russian people. His Majesty lauded the advanced level of bilateral relations, stressing the constant keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to further promote them to achieve the common interests of the two friendly countries and people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sophia Palace the personal representative of the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, Yasef Mahmoud Abbas, in the presence of the Palestinian Ambassador to Bahrain, Taha Mohammed Abdul Qadr, to greet His Majesty on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. During the meeting, the personal representative of the Palestinian President conveyed the greetings and appreciation of the Palestinian President to His Majesty the King and his wishes of abundant health and happiness as well as his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the kingdom under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty the King welcomed the guest and asked him to convey his greetings and appreciation to the Palestinian President and his wishes of abundant health and happiness and of security and stability and growth to the Palestinian people. His Majesty reiterated Bahrain's firm position in support of the Palestinian cause and in support of all endeavours to achieve a just and comprehensive peace in the region and to guarantee the right of the Palestinian people to establish the independent state in accordance with the two-state solution and the resolutions of international legitimacy in a manner that achieves stability and prosperity for all peoples of the region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the successful medical checkups he had undergone. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the Saudi monarch with abundant health and happiness to continue the march of development and prosperity for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under his wise leadership. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet commended the address given by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day. In the speech, His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the nation's media outlets as active partners in promoting the kingdom's national goals for sustainable growth and the progress and plans and programmes adopted by the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Cabinet followed up on the implementation of the Royal Directives to enhance food investments and security. In this regard, the Cabinet directed for the continued adoption of initiatives that ensure food security in agricultural, animal and marine fields and increase the volume of national produce to ensure food security and the sustainability of the supply chain. The Directors follow a review of a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning in which the Cabinet assigned the Ministry of Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to intensify the monitoring of the prices of goods and ensure their availability in accordance with consumer needs. On the occasion of the issuance of the Royal Order to adjourn the fourth session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representative Councils, the Cabinet commended the cooperation and coordination between executive and legislative authorities and the successes achieved in this regard for the development of the Kingdom and the realisation of the aspirations of its citizens. The Cabinet also expressed appreciation for the role played by the two councils in supporting national efforts to benefit the Kingdom and its people. Marking International Nurses' Day, the Cabinet expressed appreciation for the role played by the Kingdom's nursing professionals in promoting health and treatment services within Bahrain. The Cabinet condemned the cowardly terrorist attack that targeted a water lifting station in Western Sinai in Egypt, and further expressed its sincere condolences to the government and people of Egypt. The Cabinet affirmed Bahrain's full support for all measures taken by Egypt in maintaining its security, stability and the safety of its citizens and residents. The Cabinet discussed and agreed a number of memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs 
regarding the development of a general framework for the Memoranda of Understanding between Bahrain's Ministry of Health and entities that receive Bahrainis for medical treatment abroad. The Memorandum aims to enhance cooperation in the areas of diagnosis and treatment. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the Government's responses to four proposals, two law proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives and the law proposal submitted by the Shura Council. The Cabinet reviewed the following topics. The Cabinet followed up on the latest developments in the emergence of hepatitis of unknown origin in children in some countries. It was affirmed that Bahrain is free of this disease. The Cabinet instructed the Ministry of Health to continue to take precautionary and preventative measures to follow up on developments in the epidemiological investigation of this disease globally and to prepare for dealing with any developments in this regard. The Cabinet took note of ministerial reports regarding participation in the high-level political forum of the United Nations and the progress made in implementing the new urban agenda, the foreign participations of ministers and visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain for the month of May 2022. The BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the historic achievement made by the BDF military athletic team in the 52nd World Military Marathon Championship, with the participation of 94 runners representing 18 countries, with Bahrain winning first place in the men's singles team's competition and individual level, and second place in the team level in the women's competition. The BDF Commander-in-Chief affirmed that the team's victory affirms the support military teams receive from His Majesty the King, healing the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which contributed to making the achievement. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities at BACA opened the first multi-storey car park as part of the Pearling Path project in Maharik which is inscribed by the UNESCO World Heritage List in the presence of BACA President Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Planning, Engineer Isam Khalaf and a number of officials, diplomats, cultural figures and media representatives. Sheikh Ahmed expressed pleasure in opening the multi-storey car park, which will serve the residents and visitors of the Pearling Path. She noted that the project is one of the most important infrastructure enhancement projects in Bahrain and aims to revive historical sites in the city of Maharik, develop residential neighbourhoods and provide a cultural destination that attracts visitors. The new phase is the first of four parking spots that will be within the project site, offering car parking spaces for residents and visitors to the Pearling Path site. The construction of the remaining three parking lots is scheduled to be completed by the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023. The parking lots are distinguished by a unique engineering design and will add new spaces to Maharik. The CEO of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, Jamal Alalawi, affirmed the importance of strengthening the partnership between LMRA and Tamkeen. Alawi stressed that the authority will spare no effort in cooperating and coordinating closely at all levels with Tamkeen to achieve the government's desired aspirations to develop the labour market and support private sector institutions. He praised Tamkeen's efforts in supporting institutions, raising the level of productivity and enhancing employment opportunities for Bahrainis in the labour market. During a meeting, the CEO of Tamkeen, Hussein Rajab, stressed the importance of work and integration between LMRA and Tamkeen to support the national economy and keeping pace with labour market changes to stimulate growth and productivity in line with the economic recovery plan and market needs, praising the permanent cooperation and joint coordination between the two sides. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, is participating in the Arabian Travel Market 2022 exhibition, which is a market-leading international travel and tourism event, unlocking business opportunities in the Middle East and abroad and for outbound tourism professionals and focusing the future of the international travel and tourism. And to speak more about BTEA's participation, we're joined over the phone from the UAE by Deputy CEO of BTEA, Ms. Fatima Asafreya. Ms. Fatima, can you tell us more about the significance of participating in the Arabian Travel Market Exhibition? Ms. Fatima, are you there? Hello, Ms. Fatima. 
Can you tell us more Hi. about the significance in participating in the Arabian Travel Market Exhibition? Yes, definitely. And I'm delighted to be with you here today to speak about uh, the importance of our participation in the Arabian Travel Market Exhibition. So Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority's participation is reflecting the importance of the role of Bahraini tourism and showcasing the best that Bahrain has to offer in terms of tourism and exhibitions as well. Uh, we have 21 uh, participants from the tourism in industry participating with us. Uh, in this important and global event and we are looking forward to collaborating with more tourist uh, participants uh, within the global scale of the ATM event. Can you elaborate on how this event can further enhance tourism attraction to Bahrain? Once we launched our strategy uh, last year in November, there were important pillars that we, uh, we decided that we need to enhance uh, in terms of tourism attraction. Uh, we have already collaborated with over 70 tour operators globally in a target market that we have focused on over the past few months. And our participation in the Arabian travel market this year uh, inaugurates these, ex uh, inaugurates these um, participations and as well as these signings that we had with the different tour operators, as well as promoting Bahrain more effectively as a preferred tourism destination, not only in the region, but internationally as well. And that was the Deputy CEO of BTEA, Ms. Fatima Al-Sarifi. Thank you for joining us.